Hi, this is Alex for Shiny Shiny and Tech Digest. And it may have occurred to you that this isn't Shiny Towers, well identified. This is actually my house where we have my TV, which I'm very fond of, but this is not what we're here to talk about. We are here to talk about the Arcos TV Plus box, um, which I keep wanting to call the Apple TV box because it looks a little bit like it. So forgive me if I do actually say that in the course of the review. But this is a DVR streaming device, Wi-Fi box, a kind of jack of all trades for home entertainment. And we've set it up here to have a quick look at it. Now, you've seen the device quickly before at the launch date. Here it is all plugged in. Um, believe it or not, it's actually ridiculously easy to set up uh, as long as you actually follow the quick start guide. Just plug everything. There is actually um, an HDMI port here as well, so if you want to use that. Uh, you can. So once set up, you let it all tune up and that light goes green and then you follow some on-screen instructions with this. Now this is the remote control and it's kind of cool but it does take some getting used to because this um, pad is, is the sort of navigation pad and I think Arcos have used this kind of remote control before so you might be familiar with it if you've used an Arcos product before but you just sort of push down in different directions to direct it around the screen and that really comes into its own when you use the internet which you can use on this device but do bear in mind that you can buy these in its sort of 80 gig and 250 gig versions but you do need to pay an extra 20 quid for the um, Opera plugin to actually have the full browser and we'll go and have a look at what it actually does in a minute but what you should be able to get through this is TV, a full EPG program guide again you've got to go online to sort that out so you've got, you've got to go on Arcos's site and register and start the program guide before it will update on here and there's a few other plugins that you can get as well like um, surround sound kind of effects of 5.1 sound actually rather sorry rather than surround sound um, and a, there's, a, there's a web browser plug-in and there are various others, all of which you have to buy, but none of them I think are more than £20. And the most important one I think for getting full use out of this is the web browser. So we're going to have a quick look at what it does um, from the content portal and the internet perspective. So this is the Arcos content portal, or the kind of main menu from which you get into those things. So as you can see, that's the, that's the full-on content portal. As you can see, these are the different areas that you can control from this main menu. Now, within the content portal, that's where you'd have to go to get things like extra plugins and also to buy films, uh, things that you want to watch from Arcos. It doesn't take too long to load up. Now, I'm doing this over Wi-Fi with our Wi-Fi connection, but there is an Ethernet port as well. So if that's the kind of connection that you have, you can use that. There is a little X button on the remote control that you can just press to get out of screens like this and go backwards. Video, obviously enough, just a couple of demo videos to give you an idea of what you might watch. There are fast forward and rewind buttons on the remote control as well. It's not immediately obvious on the remote control what's what, but you will work it out very, very quickly. The interesting one for me was the web browser, because obviously this way you can completely browse the internet. And it took me a while to get my head around some of these controls. Now the QWERTY keyboard is very easy to use, but there are some bits where you're filling in multiple fields where at first I couldn't work out which button to press because it seemed a little bit counterintuitive. But having managed that, I was able to go and go to different sites. So as you can see, now I'm using that pad I was talking about in the top left to sort of navigate and it can be, you, it takes a while before you can get spot on so if links are small you might find yourself getting a little bit frustrated with that but you know it's, it's like any new gadget once you get used to that you should be able to use it quite easily. So there you are, you can watch videos. Let's try Star Wars according to a three-year-old. Um, so the, the button is slightly lagging which it does do before the screen opens up entirely. And I mean, this is probably pretty much down to the kind of connection that you have and that you're running it through. Star Wars, according to a three-year-old. Which is loading up nice and slowly, but you can get the general idea. So I'm going to come out of the web browser, eventually, when it responds, and show you some of the other areas. Now files um, is something that I had to get to know very quickly because when you download the plugins they do ask you to put them on your, you can download them on your PC or Mac because I did it with a Mac and attach it by USB to the device 
and then just pull them over. You can, you can use it an external hard drive as well. So that's really very easy to use. And finally the recorder, the bit that would be interesting if you're really using this mostly with your TV. Gosh, there are some interesting programmes on at about 9 o'clock on BBC Two. You can just set something to record like that. So really when you come down to it, nothing very extraordinary in this box that you, you're not already familiar with. It just puts everything in one place for you. The question at the end is whether you think that it's good value enough to buy it and then have to buy plugins and things for the web, which for me is probably one of the most powerful extra features that it has beyond the usual EPG and video recording. But very easy to use, very, very easy to set up. Um, and there's plenty of support on Arcos's website because of one or two moments where I thought, have I done that right? And I went to check and actually the step-by-step -step instructions were, were fantastic. So yes, I would recommend it. It's just a question of whether you think they've been a bit cheeky on that score.